What's up? I'm Swallow Dog. I like to build cool stuff. Today, I'm running. Fill up some propane. Maybe make another stop on the way. Let's go check it out. That's where we're headed. Tractor supply to get propane. We gotta make one other stop real quick. Had to drop off my renewal application for low fabrication. Now let's go get propane. Well, no propane. They said it's froze up. And they don't know when it's gonna be fixed. I don't know why. I don't understand that. That's okay. For another day. Let's clean her up. Well, that was a bust. But since we're here. Whoa! Why don't we go check things out over here? Still got the air brakes on it. Factory Axle Tech air brakes. Huh. I mean, that would make sense because the bus probably already had air brakes on it, so maybe they could just plumb those in. Interesting. Got into the fenders a little bit. Pretty intense tube chassis. Huh, cool. Let's go check something else out. Hey! How are we doing? Good! Yeah. Can I film in here? No. No, no. <laughs> I've never been in here before. I just wanted to come check it out. Thanks, man. Yeah, storefront. It's pretty sweet. So what's uh what's happening now, like because the they had the last giveaway, right? So are things changing on that aspect or? Yep, they can't say a word until they announce it on oh, YouTube. Oh, okay. All right. So, well, we'll wait and see then. It yeah, <laughs> should be happening anytime now. Okay. Awesome. Sorry, man. Thanks, man. No problem. Sick of all the bad thoughts, people who are half-nuns. 
man. Have a good one. You too. Man. So, it was so quiet in there. I didn't even want to say anything. It's like a, I don't know. I don't know. It was cool, they had that, uh, you could see it was super tinted, but you could, I don't know if you could see through the glass, they had that little bar set up. You could see they were working on stuff on the other side, which is pretty fun. Let's take a peek at the Brodozer. Yeah. I'd like to see this thing back out on the rocks. I thought I heard that this was one of the vehicles they technically weren't supposed to be driving because of the that stupid lawsuit with the emissions and this was one of the vehicles that was fell under that and they had to resolve something or were supposed to put the emissions compliant equipment back on it before they could technically drive it but I don't know if that's true or not but pretty gnarly Axitex under there. Pretty stout. What kind of transfer case this sucker have in it? Almost got two. It's like two. Looks like the factory Ford transfer case with another divorced some other transfer case. Huh. Pretty crazy. Pretty freaking huge. Thing's ginormous. How big that is. how well it really does out on the rocks. All right, well, we're gonna call that a day. Wrap it up, I gotta go do some last minute Christmas shopping. So, what up man? Truth be told, 
told that guy I'd never been in that showroom before, but I actually had one other time been in the showroom before. It was a few years ago. My wife's cousin was here from Kansas City and we popped in for a second. It looked different than that. We were only in there for a quick second. And, uh, but before that, I've actually been over here a few times before they had the showroom. I had some friends that used to work here, a couple different friends. And uh, they uh, came over a couple times to install some traction bars on some trucks. There's some guys that worked here. check out a suspension on the first Holy Grail because he wanted to do something similar on his truck. He had some questions so we guy came over and he showed it to me and we chatted about that and that was pretty cool. Hope you enjoyed that little walkthrough of uh, Diesel Brothers, Sparks Motors, Diesel Power Gear, whatever you want to call it. We're out of here. Catch you on the next one. Till next time, go build something cool. Later. Let's try this again. Success in the propane department this time. I don't know.